Hey guys, Apple just continues to release new betas for iOS 12 and I didn't think they were going to be releasing any more betas until the holiday seasons were over and to the Christmas break but hey, iOS 12.1.2 beta 1 has been officially released today to register developers right on the heels of the official release of iOS 12.1.1 and as usual, I like to cover these betas for you guys so we're going to be talking about this beta and a few other things that I've been discussing on Twitter, social media if you don't follow me there, links will be in the description that I've been having on my main device as I've been using 12.1.1 uh, and now 12.1.2 so the software comes in at approximately 2.83 gigabytes now this is not going to be taking away two gigabytes of your device this is pretty much just overriding the entire OS to install uh, the first beta for iOS 12.1.2 so let's go ahead and take a look at the current bill number for this beta it's going to be 16d5024 a. Of course, long build number, we can expect a few betas for this software and the feedback application in case you run into any bugs, it's right on Springboard again in case you want to report any bugs. Now alongside 12.1.2, Apple today also released, you can see here watchOS 5.1.3 beta 1 and tbOS 12.1.2. 2 beta 1 as well. So a lot of software releases today, but let's take a look at some of the release notes here for iOS. Right here it is. 12.1.2 release notes here developer portal. If we take a look here, there really isn't anything to talk about. Just nothing. We see the release notes for 12.1.1, the official release, which happened a few days ago, but nothing really happening on this software. Apple is not indicating what is uh, the new features, the new improvements of the latest 12.1.2 beta one however i did install the beta on all of these devices that you see here i'm gonna go ahead and run a benchmark as i usually like to do but i also want to talk about a few things that happened on my device just a few uh, days ago or actually last night a few things that happened with the mail application well, let's go ahead and run this benchmark here just for kicks on the latest version of ios 12.1.2 beta 1 i'll be right back and then we'll continue talking about the software all right, so the numbers are in 4813 single core score iPhone 10s, and we have the 10,756. That's going to be the multi core score iPhone 10s. So here is the iPhone 8, which has a really good scores as well: 4282 single core score and 10,653. That's really really good numbers here on the iPhone 8. The iPhone 7 Plus: 3564 single core score and 60. 90 multi-core score and then we have the monster the iphone 10 s max with 4791 and 11468 great numbers here on all devices on the latest version of ios 12.1.2 the first beta that is now let's talk about what happened on my device just last night so as i was using my device last night just like i normally do i went to check on some emails on the email application the ios email application and when i clicked the application it launched but it wouldn't let me access the app until face id would scan my face so the face id authentication system popped up on my device when i clicked on the email application now this was last night running ios 12.1.1 official final release and it didn't happen again. I couldn't replicate it. I don't know how that happened or why that happened, but definitely did happen. Was it a bug? I'm not sure, but it did happen. I launched the email application and it wouldn't let me get in until Face ID recognized my face. It caught me so off guard that it didn't even give me a chance to sort of screenshot it or record it, but it was very interesting to see nonetheless. Anyway, guys, that is everything I wanted to share with you guys today. The latest beta for iOS 12.1.2. It's officially out. Of course, I'll be testing the software for performance and battery in comparison to the previous version. And I'll let you guys know on a follow-up video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.